Alright, what is up, little death dude? My dad says I can't work at the pearly gates until I can find a job on my own and hold it for a month. Well, look at the bright side, man. After all, all work and no play. Yeah? Do you have any Doritos? Chuck it. Let's go back to my pad, motherhead. You're home early. I got fired. Let's play Xbox. It's open. Hello, Darius. I see you're making good productive use of your time. How are you doing? Well, I'm running a little low on life and ammo, but I'm close to getting the full body armor. Do you mean to tell me you've spent the last three days playing video games? Video game? Singular. Who is that? That's Randy. Randy Cox. Plural. I had guessed that you would need a little guidance in looking for your jobs, so I took the liberty of scheduling a few interviews for you. If you want to get your booth job back, I would suggest that you check them out. So, you guys want to play some more Xbox? Well... I was thinking, hey, I should get home. And then I thought, hey, I don't have a home. What do you mean? Well, the lease on my apartment is up on account of my authorization to ascend to heaven and whatnot. Hey, you can crash here, no problem, man. Is the couch cool? But we already got a dude on the couch. Yeah, but he's just not a cool guy on the couch anymore now that he has a decent job and a respectable girlfriend. Come on, guys. I can still be wild and irresponsible. Look, look. Look at how drunk I am. Get out. Come on, Reginald. We'll be late for the ballet. Yes, dear. So what's your first job interview tomorrow? Mr. Hades, you have quite an impressive resume here. You can type well, you have extensive filing and customer relations experience, and a good educational background. Sweet! When do you want me to start? Talk to Cindy in HR. She'll help you fill out your forms, process some tests, and you can start tomorrow, pending your your analysis. How did the interview go? Great. Did you get the job? Nope. All right. Grub. Did you get any Doritos? No, but I got some watermelon. I don't dig on watermelon. You don't dig on watermelon? Why not? Well, let's just say I had a bad experience with a watermelon. Hey. Wait all my hot pockets. I don't like you. Uh, okay. More for me, whatever. So, Gabriella did hook me up with something else. She said I could start tomorrow, but I don't know how promising it sounds. Okay, Darius. You'll be working the fryers. Your job will be to put exactly one onion ring at the bottom of each box every time somebody orders french fries. I'm sorry, Darius, but we'll have to let you go. We found someone else who's a little bit more enthusiastic about the job. One! One onion ring! Ah, 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 ah. It's still open. So I heard that you at least had the decency to show up to the interviews I scheduled for you. I suppose that's some progress. But your father and I agree that you need to realize the severity of your little file swapping transgression. You can't just take matters into your own hands, Darius. I've scheduled a few more interviews for you to attend. Yes, sir. What was that? I said thanks for helping me, Gabby. Don't give up on me. Tree removal. I'll say. Hey man, who would you take? Godzilla or Gabriella? Gabriella. How about in a fight? Oh, Godzilla. Hey, whatever happened to those files anyway? What do you mean? Well, 
you swapped Mr. CEO Man's files with someone else's. Who got his? Damn, man. I don't know. Mr. Proofrock, I need those files ASAP. Hot damn. Good work, Proofrock. Keep it up. So, how's the couch treating you? Well, the screws are a little loose on one side, and the wood isn't that high of a quality, but the upholstery is pretty strong, and I figure it was made about 37 years ago with- What are you, some kind of carpenter? Some kind is right, my man. Some kind is right. So, what do you do? I torture the souls of the damned. Today was a slow day though. This whole week was booked for a serial killer that never showed up. Must have been a mistake in processing. Wow, I never thought of that before. But I think you're right. If I show him more willingness to communicate, my husband would be attentive to my needs to pursue my own personal hobbies. Who knows what happened. So I just tidied up my tools, did inventory, you know. Yo, D! I heard Gabriella hooked you up with another crap job. Yeah, dude. How was your day at work? I don't even want to talk about it. 